this is a completely blank map except for I have roads, rocks and railroads. Um, in Houdini I have the same because the map was basically created in Houdini with the roads and railroads and not, whatnot. Um, and I've been working today with a, with a tool uh, to generate trees and the foliage to be created with Foliage Creator, the script. Um, what I do now is I'll paint a mask where I want my trees. And as you can see, the road is cutting through this mask, which is quite nice. Um, and I can visualize this, what it might look like. But to make it even better, um, we can fill this in a lot, a lot more so it's more dense, something like that. And then I can paint uh, where I want foliage on the outside of this area. I make note, I've not made this mask work with the roads yet, but I'm getting there. It's a bit complex. But basically I can paint anywhere here and I'll have loads of foliage going on. So let's, let's erase that. And I have figured out the values I require for the mask to work properly. So forest needles and grass deco bush is what I'm producing today. I'll export this um, PNG file. It basically looks black like this. But if we increase the levels here, you can see there's there's loads of data going on. Yeah, and all those blobs, they're basically made from, uh, let's see, they're basically made from every single individual tree here will create one of those blobs. But I also have these small blobs here. So the shape of this is raycast down to the terrain and you sort of get this, uh, this mask. Okay, so in GE, all I got to do is run the foliage creator and the tree creator. So let's first run the foliage creator and see what happens. On my PC, this roughly takes about um, 12, 15 seconds. And uh, suddenly it will just swap to the complete uh, overhaul, if you like. And there we go. Um, so you can see that all of the these sort of the forest needle ground and foliage adheres to the road here, which is quite nice. And you can see it's got a very natural look and, and clumping. Now let's create some trees within this area as well. So I'll run this script, the tree creator, a few times and we'll get some clumping action going. Now look at that. So if I wanted to, I can go back to Houdini. I can uh, create a new area where I, yeah, maybe I should write my name. And look at that. There's a road and there's some rocks in here. And uh, I'll also make some random areas with foliage as well and export to PNG again go back to GE run the script and it will appear over here in just a few seconds there we go that was says Ola that was pretty quick actually and then I of course I can run the script to create some more trees within this area. Sweet. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I would never be able to do this by hand, I think, uh, except making the mask, but I would never be able to place all of this or paint this manually. 